the embodiment of drip right now. I'm telling you, like I'm a freaking smash player. Is crackhead drip? Point. Is that like? <laughs> did I really miss the fashion mode here? Listen, you can make anything drip, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. Making this drip from Lucario drip 33%, and we're getting it. We're getting it popping, honestly. Also, quick uh, aside here: Is this the first time Gatsby's ever been to winners finals at Xena? I think it. Oh my god. Oh, he didn't kill. He almost died. Dude, how, I'm surprised he did it. That was. Did you see that crouch? Did oh you see it? God. He crouched to the neutral air whiffed, and then he got down to this whole combo starter here. That was so good. And only in the yeah. first, like, 30 seconds of this game already, I really love how BB's just playing around Gatsby right now. I'm telling you, again, a lot of the things that people don't realize about Anthe Falcon is how to deal with the speed, and that's exactly what BB's doing right now. And they're keeping it pretty oh. even. I'm going to be completely honest. BB was watching Gatsby play, and he's like, I know you like the Falcon kick. And what was that hitbox? Did he get neutral air, I think? I don't think he wanted neutral air. How is he alive, man? He's 140. Lucario's at like 85. That's not nothing. I love this ledge shot going on. Let's be completely honest. A neutral air again? I don't think there could have been anything there, but... Oh, 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 that's not gonna kill that up. He's not gonna kill, but we are in a situation where Lucario is off stage, but not anymore, because I'm telling you, Lucario got burr. I really like the fact he's going for these jumping off the ledges mm -hmm. and then fading back to the ledge. Normally people, mm -hmm. once they jump off the ledge, they kind of just press forward to get back to mid stage. And intercepted! The knee... <laughs> the knee may save lives, but for Gatsby, it takes lives. Are we like what five needs five save oh? lives? Whoa! <laughs> Listen, it could save his life. What if what if he's getting reverse edge guarded? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Me be saving lives. Could have been could have been down two stops. He's, I don't know. Me but... save lives IRL. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. And I, I, I kind of I think it's funny. This whole game started out with that ridiculous combo that almost led to BB's death at 50. But because he didn't die, now all of a sudden we have an extremely even game here. Gatsby needs to make sure he actually deals the finishing blow, because otherwise that'll happen. Excuse me, did you say it was even? What? Did you say it was even? I, it, it was even at it that was. moment. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Both honestly, of them were at death percent. What do you want from me? He's at death percent right now. No amount of movement from Captain Falcon is going to save you unless he gets a really nice string. Mm. I think we're all waiting for the really nice string at this and point. And also at this point, normally that, that game, it, fine, whatever. Um, I, I don't think I can say chaos too much because this could very well be the end of it for Gatsby. Oh, but instead Ooh. takes him out. And this is really good because not only is Lucario, you know, he doesn't have Aura, so he's not going to kill as early. But notice that the Aura Sphere was so important for shutting down Captain Falcon's movement because it was massive. And now it's not big anymore. Gatsby's going to have more room to run around, to throw out whatever he wants to. You'll notice, yeah, BB's not really throwing out any more Aura Spheres because he knows it doesn't actually shut down the movement anymore. Oh, oh no. That was looking very scary for Vivi. Could have died right there. Ooh, and oh, and that was such a nice wait, but not going to get anything off of that. And being very cognizant of that uppy right there. Trying oh. to find some way to take off this stock, and it's just not working. That's going to be it. I wow. Uh, I like. Hmm. Was that DI? Is that? Not really. Was that, was that? I feel like it felt like he. I mean, we didn't get the kill Captain screen Falcon's for one. He's at 142%. He is dying. But he's only at 52. No, it's Lucario. You don't know about Lucario? Yeah, Lucario don't kill. How many times have gun. you seen me play Lucario? Also, oh, wow, down tilt was frames away from coming out How here. many times have you seen BB play Lucario? I mean, yes, but it's Falcons heavy. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like he died up towards, he died off the top from it. So I'm No amount of cool <laughs> heavy armor is saving Falcon. I'm sorry, you. Sorry, did I? Wait, did, what? Anyway. Did he get two stocks with up tilt? Were both of his stocks from up tilt? That's what I'm talking so. about. I'm pretty sure. No, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's yucky, where he died. Yucky dog go. You fool. Yeah. Yucky dog do double team. That was honestly, yeah, that was. Can we get a look at that stock again here? All right. Like, notice the spaces that he's covering. Oh. Okay, so. First of all, text on that platform, and then fades all the way back. If we can actually zoom out uh, and go back about 10 frames here. Oh, maybe a little bit more than that. Okay, so 
Yeah, he dashes back out because that dash back is basically to cover if if he went for an immediate sort of neutral air or something like that. To just hit him, move out of disadvantage. But instead, he then recognizes, like just anticipates the jump, and uh, that back air is enough to take it. All right, moving on to game two. Uh, people don't ban this stage against Gatsby, and I think that's a mistake. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I mean, I don't know how it's going to fare for him here, but I've seen Gatsby do um, abhorrent things. Things that I would not show my children on this on this stage. I don't have children. Not since the incident. Anyway, this game here, 63% on Gatsby. Finally gets a singular hit that we've been hoping for him. And what, if you remember the first game that they played, that first hit led to a massive combo off stage that almost led to Vivi's death. This time around, though, Vivi's air dodging off the stage, which on the one hand means he's not getting hit by those final hits. On the other hand, if Gatsby pays attention to that, prepares, air dodging off stage against Falcon, yeah, that's also a death sentence as mm -hmm. long as yeah. he anticipates yeah. it correctly. I'm going to be completely honest. Again, like you were saying about this stage, it also gives so much more of like a room for Gatsby to actually recover. So this man just does not die. Oh, yeah. Oh, but there we go. More room for recovery, not just for Gatsby, but for Lucario, too. And, and again, and especially because it's worth... He's dead. Oh, he's super <laughs> dead. Um, but it's worth knowing in game one, at least one of those stocks were taken from an up tilt where, you know, VB felt the need to go for some crazy angle on the up B. Mm -hmm. With those flat, with those uh, walls on the side, he's going to have a lot more flexibility and a lot more time to stall. You grabbed him? Oh. That was interesting. He went for the hug and you just grabbed him by the neck. <laughs> Imagine getting grabbed in the neck by a dog. I don't know. You can't tell me this is kind of wonky. Again, but again with all these aura speed weight bounces, this is kind of crazy. It's just really hard for Gatsby kind of just like to maneuver around this. And again, I'm telling you, I I really love how Vivi's just getting around this, but he's not getting around that knee. knee. That, was, that was the weak, uh, sorry, the sour spot of down air is actually what did it. Because like takes lives. <laughs> The knee be taken Those are, I, I guess at that point it is the knee. Um, <laughs> okay, big damage, possibly. So far, Gatsby. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. Recognizing air dodges. Still air dodges off the stage! And how did that end up happening? What's we're, going on here? Oh, we're having some nutty things happening. But nonetheless, it seems like everybody somehow manages to come out of the other side unscathed. I say that as if he eats an up smash and almost dies at 80. <gasps> oh my. Oh! oh! This Yo! is the second. This is not even. I think it's probably the second or third time that BB has read that jump. Not and only that, he drifted with him. He didn't just recognize the jump. He knew the exact jump, drift, area code, social security number. He oh. had everything figured out at that He's point. He's scamming up in here. All right. That's well, what happens to scammers, I guess. Yeah, at those lower percents, we, if you've noticed, uh, if you've seen Gatsby's other games today, he is not afraid to trade. And that means in those sort of situations where the opponent's at high percent, he's at low percent, that favors him. He just loves, you know, Falcon doesn't have to, he has big hitboxes, but not necessarily a lot of disjoints. And now as we're getting closer to him at death percent, that's going to be a lot harder for him to rely on that. And again, to this stage pick, I really feel like it's working against Gatsby with the a lot of space that you know you have. It's allowing Vivi to use a lot more of these mix-ups, again, a lot more interestingly, to avoid the up B, to avoid a lot of what he's been noticing from Gatsby. Also, I just want to say that I think if he if Vivi ends up off, off stage one more time, I think Gatsby's gonna try and read the air dodge because he has been air dodging for free. And Gatsby is not the kind of player to just forget about that sort of thing. <laughs> Question is whether he can even get there. Gatsby at 130. He's not going to get the chance nope. put into the bracket of losers. Bracket, but make it losers? Yo, what if we had bracket? But make it for losers. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Unless. Oh, wait, no. You know what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be a very, I was going to make a very mean joke. It's okay. I won't do it anymore. No, no. No, I'm a very... I I'm just assuming it was uh, it was targeted at me specifically. No. I love you. You're amazing. You're awesome. You're literally so wonderful. Like, you're such an amazing person. I feel like everybody that lives in the state of New York is so amazing and so awesome. Like, they just radiate crackhead energy, but in a good way. Why do you think crackheads are good? I'm sorry. This is in, like, a running theme right now. Mm -hmm. and, like, yeah. We mm -hmm. need to talk. Crack is whack. 
Are you sure about that? Yes, I, I watched the Pee Wee Herman PSAs, I know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that every person that is very successful right now has done something. They done something. Look at how look at how successful Gatsby He's looks. He's got that energy. It's just it's just the New York energy. Listen, I'm telling you, we got some of the New York 